Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character looking into is Victor the Vulture. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. Now as always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of FNAF. It's just a fun what if scenario and a creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Victor the Vulture. So previously in our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series, we've taken a look at the Desert Diner Pizzeria. This was a desert themed children's restaurant with many desert themed attractions and characters. Many weird and strange incidents have taken place at this establishment. All of these incidents appear to be linked with a certain moment in the pizzeria's history. This moment in time was when the establishment was closed for over a month long period. The restaurant was being fumigated and the staff decided to leave the animatronics inside. They would soon discover that this would be a very poor decision indeed. Over the course of this chapter, what exactly happened to our desert characters wasn't exactly made clear. But now we have some new evidence on what went down when the Desert Diner shut its doors. So let's start off with meeting our next character. And this character is Victor the Vulture. So hence the name, Victor was designed after the desert dwelling bird, the Vulture. He was given a dark grey colour scheme with the famous chest feathers and a long neck and beak. Vultures are known to be scavengers who feast on the dead bodies of other animals. With this widely known grim detail, Victor was more seen as an antagonist to the other characters. He wasn't exactly evil in any specific way, but he was seen as a kind of quote unquote bad guy. The reasoning for this was his role at the pizzeria. So Victor didn't have a spot up on stage with the main band. He instead spent most of his time in the main dining area. While all the guests ate their pizza, from time to time Victor would come out of his hiding area. Menacing music would play as he walked around and tried to steal their food. Because vultures were known to be scavengers, Victor's whole gag was that he was after all the guests left over pizza. Whenever he approached a table, all the guests would have to yell, Scram Victor, go away. Then Victor would walk over to the next table and try to take the leftover pizza. This showtime segment was only performed once a day during lunchtime. It would encourage a lot of the children to hurry up and eat their pizza, or Victor would steal it from them. This segment always ended with Corey the camel taking care of the nasty old Victor, so the guests could eat in peace. The lunchtime show always proved to be a hit with the guests. Sure, Victor's appearance sometimes frightened some of the younger guests, but for the most part, he was considered to be a success. He was one of the characters at the pizzeria that you loved to hate. All the guests would boo Victor as he walked around from table to table. The manager learned quickly, in order to have a great cast of lovable characters, it's also necessary to have an unlikable character as well. Victor didn't mind that at all. He knew it was all just an act. He was only happy as long as he got his share of the scraps when the day had ended. Not many of the staff knew about this, but after hours, Victor would rummage through the trash. He would help himself to all the half-eaten pizza and leftover fries. There would be a couple of mornings where the staff would walk in and see a bunch of rubbish all over the floors. The manager just chalked this up to being the rodent problem that they've been having. Most have seen after hours rats rummaging through the trash. This was one of the sole reasons why the pizzeria was originally fumigated. The Desert Diner closed its doors for a month and let the poison do its work. But it did way more than that. In our first incident of this chapter, the poison made its way into Corey's circuits and damaged them with all the moisture. He went into a twitching fit and moved frantically on the sand for a month. We were led to believe this is why their outer skin was torn away. But it turns out we didn't have the full picture. So throughout this month, the pizzeria had a stranger break in and film a whole bunch of footage. It was leaked online for all to see. As to what this footage showed, we'll get into that later. So over this month long period, things got a little strange for Victor. 
Every day he would walk out to the main dining area and pretend to steal all the guests food. But day after day, no one was there. No menacing music, no one booing him, just nothing. The only thing he could see was that thick green poisonous cloud hovering over the floor. Every night Victor would go without his scraps. This began to drive Victor mad. They loved their scraps, their beak was made for picking at things. If he didn't have things to pick at, then what did he have at all? By the time the first week of solitude was over, Victor couldn't take it anymore. They needed to pick something apart, they needed scraps. So if there wasn't anything around, he would do the unthinkable. Victor decided to pick himself apart. He picked as much material off his neck as he could, and most of the material from his arms was picked away as well. From his beak dripped black oil from all of his joints and servos that he picked apart. After he picked away everything that he could reach, he decided to wander around and see what else he could pick apart. After walking around, he found himself in the sand room. And laying there right before him was Corey. Victor took a second to think, then he made his decision. When the night guard returned back to work, Victor had his eye on them. They looked much more delicious than any of the scrap they could think of. And their outer squishy material must be softer than any of his animatronic friends. He just had to pick at them, especially their face. That's what Victor wanted to pick at the most. So when the time was right, Victor would make his move. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. Victor's starting position would always be in the main dining area. Victor would be one of the characters that would start moving as soon as the night begins. The player would need to keep an eye out for Victor and to close the doors as soon as they see him. Victor's attempts to enter the office would come from the right hand side door, and they would happen quite frequently. Sometimes Victor can be seen staring at the player through the glass. The player would need to be extra careful when they see the red lights. This would mean that Victor would appear from either side of the office and give the player no time to close the door. This specific attack would be quite similar to Foxy's classic attack where he would charge down the hallway and charge to the office. The player needs to keep on their toes and predict where Victor will be charging in from because if they don't, they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Victor would be an interesting character to include in the Desert Diner roster of characters. The inclusion of a vulture only makes sense with the Desert theme, and their disturbing appearance and motives are sure to creep out the player. Their gameplay tactics are fast and frantic and are sure to be a challenge, that's for sure. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Victor the Vulture and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.